Welcome to Friday Night Vespers, my friends. I am so happy to have you here again this evening. As we open our hearts and minds to hear the scripture anew, let us take three calming breaths together. Come thou fount of every blessing, tune my heart to sing thy praise. Streams of mercy never ceasing, call for songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious sonnet, sung by flaming tongues of all. Praise the mount I'm fixed upon it, mount of thy redeeming love. Psalm 106, starting at verse 13. But they soon forgot his works, and they did not wait for his counsel. But they had a wanton craving for wickedness, and to put God to a test in the desert. He gave them what they asked, but sent a wasting disease among them. They were jealous of Moses in the camp and of Aaron, the Holy One of the Lord. The earth opened up and swallowed Dathan and covered a fraction of Abraham. Fire also broke out in their company. Flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf at Horeb and worshipped a cast image. They exchanged the glory of God for an image of an ox that eats grass. They forgot God, their Savior, who had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and awesome deeds by the Red Sea. Therefore, he said he would destroy them. Had not Moses, his chosen one, stood in the breach before them, before him, to turn away his wrath from destroying them? Acts chapter 20. After the uproar had ceased, Paul sent for the disciples, and after encouraging them and saying farewell, he left for Macedonia. When he had gone through those regions and had given the believers much encouragement, he came to Greece, where he stayed for three months. He was about to set sail for Syria when a plot was made against him by the Jews, so he decided to return through Macedonia. He was accompanied by Sopater, son of Phyrus from Berea, by Aristarchus and Secundus from Thessalonica, by Gaius from Derb, Trompius from Asia. They went ahead and were sailing for us in Traus. But we sailed from Philippi after the days of unleavened bread, and in five days we joined them in Troas, where we stayed for seven days. Friends, thank you for joining me for Vespers again. I always love this time where we can listen to the word of our Lord together as we end our day and look forward to hopefully a restful night. As we close out our time together, I invite you to pray with me by repeating after me. Dear God, thank you for this day. Watch over me as I sleep and help me to be your child tomorrow. In your name I pray, amen. Good night, friends.